Hi guys, welcome back. So a quick update on the England squad and it's gonna keep on changing because players are being added and there's still players not in from Bristol, Wasps and Exeter. But we've got a much stronger England squad now so I need to revise my team for the Barbarians. Uh, notable people out of the squad actually at Daly. Um, he's got a, a leg issue that's been unspecified but he's not available. Kerrod's also out, I'm not sure why. If anyone knows he's got an injury, please let me know or he could just been uh, dropped. Mako's been past fit, so is Yules. Moon comes back in, so that's two more second row options. And then more Bath boys, Will Stewart, Underhill, Joseph and Watson, all past fit to be in the squad. So that does change things significantly. And it is a significantly stronger squad uh, to face the Barbarians. And considering this is a warm up for the Italy game of the Six Nations, which could potentially win it for England, then I think they're gonna go as strong as possible and there's probably not gonna be too much experimentation. So, very quickly, here's my new revised team. I'll whiz through it. I think if Mako is fully fit, I think he starts. He was playing very well for Saracens until Saracens got knocked out of their competitions. Uh, so I think he plays. George been playing great for Saracens. He starts, starter anyway. Good chance for Will Stewart, um, especially with Sinclair not there. Will Stewart, a very strong scrummager. Sinclair may be still a little bit more around the park than Stewart, but a good chance for him to fight for a starting spot, actually. Then, obviously, a toe at the second row. Who partners him? Well, I think Yules is the most logical choice, although I'd be happy if they went for ribbons. Um, but Yules is experienced in that England setup, so that makes sense. Then you've got your World Cup back row available. So, again, I don't think you can really argue against starting that back row. Of course, Wilson's close. It'd be great to see Ted Hill in the back row, and everyone wants to see Don Brandt play. But I think Curry Underhill, Billy Vanapola is the best way to go. Then Young's retains his starting spot. Obviously, Spencer's not there to fight for it. Uh, a little word about Spencer, the best theory that I've heard actually as to why Ben Spencer isn't in the squad is that they're keeping a space open for Dan Robson and if Spencer was in the squad then he'd have had to have been ditched for Dan Robson when he was available. But anyway, who knows or maybe he just doesn't like Ben Spencer, which is probably the more likely one. Um, Ford and Farrell at 10 and 12. Now at 13 was hard, could have been a lot of different people. Um, could have been Joseph, could have been Marchant, but I think they need the extra power in their back line. Uh, so I've gone for Lawrence at 13 and I'm just very excited to see him play. Plus with Thorley on one wing and Lawrence at 13, I think you've got a, a good balance of skill and power in that back line now. So like I said, Thorley on one wing, uh, May on the other wing. Watson moving into 15 because Daly's not available and you know Watson's got a chance there at 15 that's the position he plays a lot for Bath he could even take the shirts off Daly so that's interesting on the bench well Dunn's going to stay as replacement hooker then Genge is a good impact prop Hayes got that big chance the young lad coming off the bench onto the tight heads um, I was expecting Kerra to be there but I'm, I'm not sure what's happened to him then I'll put Ribbons in ahead of Moon I'd prefer to see Ribbons first and then it gets a bit tricky here. I'm gonna put Don Brandt on, because that's the guy I wanna see play for England. Um, Wilson might actually make more sense if you were gonna have three backs on the bench, because Wilson covers a bit more potentially. If you had a 6-2 split, you could play Wilson and Don Brandt on the bench. But anyway, I've gone for Don Brandt. Might leave you a little light on flanker cover potentially, but I wanna see the guy play. Um, then Hines backing up Youngs at um, nine. Joseph and Marchant on the bench, with Marchant probably covering the back three more because um, it is two centres on the bench, but because you've got Ford and Farrell playing, you can do that. Anyway, that's my revised England team to play the Barbarians, and I expect a lot of that team to go through and play Italy. It'll be interesting to see how many players become available from Exeter, Bristol and Wasps when those games are all done. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.